Hello YouTube, D-Deccan here, and happy 4th of July. You know, where there are explosions in the sky and it rains down small fiery bits that will never touch you, but they're pretty to look at. And of course, if you listen to the background of this, me rambling here, you'll probably hear people in the distance just setting, off, setting them off randomly. Illegally, mind you, but they're setting them off randomly and the police are not going to do anything about it, but... Any case, happy 4th of July! And with that, we got a brand new pick a gift. And it is very explosive. Just like the fireworks. Uh, <laughs> those who don't know what the pick a gift campaign is, every day you log in, you get an item. You choose the item, you don't get the other items. And that's basically it. Now, I, I do videos on, on YouTube for fun of it, for the fun of it. And I generally, as a rule, make a video talking about each pick a gift. So, I wasn't expecting to make this video tonight, even though my phone's at 13% battery, but I wasn't expecting to, but I'm going to. So I'm going to ramble as much as I can. Uh, honestly, I really like the last pick a gift. It was very, uh, intuitive. Int I liked the direction it was going. It was more slim. It was more f format, more... It, was it wasn't perfectly balanced, but it was a nice aesthetic tone they had set. I really like the last pick gift. This pick a gift took takes that takes that nice feeling and throws it in the sky like fireworks. Ugh. Day one. Day one. Useless item, useless item, useless item. Like day one is more of the jump scare. Is the jump scare day because you don't really get to know when pick a gift's coming. It just happens. You you could just tell like once a month, oh, it's the pick a gift time. So usually, like, the, the default answer is going to be, like, go, it's, like, gems or something. Last time, I think it was, it was a card. Like, that was, kind of, that was kind of random and that was kind of cool. This time, it's gold, which you can accumulate whatever. An EX gem. EX crystal. Or fireworks. <laughs> or an extra life crystal. Which, to be fair, extra life has its uses in some cases. And... And the X booster is good when you're fighting the vag fighting the vagabond because you get more experience. That said, they're all useless because I don't <laughs> because like it's not gems, it's not cards, it's very different. I, I hate having a negative reaction to that, but it's like, why? Why does day one have to be so useless? I get like again, it, it is the jump scare day, so it might as well put all the worthless items. But if that's not the worst part of this event, I'm not even. I haven't even started day two. Day two, the other two crystals, plus the rare, plus the uh, the rare card, which begins a sort of theme for this event. Apparently, they're throwing everything into this event. They're not caring where it's going. So day two, instead of like it ran the dual crystals randomly being in other spots, and sort of making up other options. No, 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 no. Dual crystals are in day one and two. You either get gold crystals or the la rare card from last time, which was Lloyd Poison. Which is a pretty good card. I actually probably will pick it up this time because I have no other choice to pick it up at this time, but... Hey, fireworks. Day three. Uh, day three is kind of a... Day three is a... Uh, I can't complain too much about day three. Day three is uh, the elemental or, elemental jewels, which... General rule of thumb, if you don't have a certain number, you pick that. I actually am going to go for the water one, just because I am running a low on water, but... That's not as bad, plus fireworks. But day four. Day four... Day four makes sense. It's the return. It's the uh, the super rare card from last time, gems, and then a third random item. Day four is perfectly fine. Day four is the best day of this event. Day five again is the same thing like day two. You can get gems, or you can you know you can get either the earth jewel, the earth jewels, or the wind jewels. You know who cares about earth and wind because you know earth is just the most popular card type. So obviously we stick that against jewels because you know no one's gonna pick the earth jewel, earth jewels. But what about wind? Yeah, screw wind. Yeah, screw him. Everyone's just gonna pick gems anyway. Which, you know, we are. <laughs> Day six, Pandemonium. Pandemonium has been in the pick a gift before. It has been in the card tickets. It's so much that I've already have gotten my three copies of it. I don't need it. But then again, that card is once again being compared to spell to spell jewels, which I'm gonna go back to, but spell jewels and a rare ticket, which once again is not glossy, but beside the point. In other words, you can either get this card that you probably already have, unless you're new, or you get, bang bang, <laughs> or you get the rare jewel, rare ticket. 
I'm probably going to go for the rare ticket. Even though I have almost everything there, I just don't want another copy of Pandemonium. Day 7. Day 7 is back to the basics. 5 to 1. Still not good ratios, but go for the rare jewels. Day 8. Day 8, I actually... I respect day 8, but before I actually talk about day 8, going back to day 6. Day 6. 300 super... 300 spell jewels, rare card. Day 8. 300 trap jewels, super rare card. Uh, are you saying trap jewels are more important than super rare jewels? See, it's not balanced. They literally, it's like, huh, let's just take all the jewels. Let's just take all the crystals. Let's take an option for gold because, you know, and just throw it here and there and here and here. And, you know, just go from there. Like, literally, day one is, like, on day nine. <laughs> like, day nine is literally the same as what's usually on day one. Day one is a horrible mashup that I don't know who thought of this was a smart idea, but I don't, like... Pick a give is mandatory, too. You can't skip out of it. You can't just, like, nope. You, there's no nope option. It's like, nope. Like, it's a glorified survey. You have to take it. <laughs> okay, back to day eight. Uh, actually, the big excitement for the event is Grim Maju da Urza. I'm not pronouncing that right, and I'm not trying to correct myself here, but that card. I can't find this card. I can't find where this card's actually been in the game or not, or if it's a level up award. This actually might be a first for this card. And I think this is a card that some people have been really wanting. Which is, it's basically, it's... So, what is that card? The dinosaur that gains 1,000 for every banish. This card gains 400 for every banish. Now, I guess... Oh gosh, how high can that be, actually? Like, you can start banishing things pretty high, but... In any event, I actually... Like, new card, kind of excited. It'll eventually come out in the Super Rare Tickets, but this this is the money card, and of course, it'll be compared against the Jewels. Day 8 has at least some reputation behind it. Jewels or the brand new card, which you'll probably be able to get later, but hey, Jewels or a brand new card. And Day 10, Day 10 is the most toughest day of them all. I don't know what I'm picking. I don't know what I'm picking yet, but what about you? Is this event explosive like fireworks, or is it like, meh? Let me know in the comments, and have a good day.